What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here just outside of Sedona, Arizona and I recognize this Newell coach behind me. I think I just saw it out in Florida. I think this Hummer looks really familiar as well. Looks super clean. Looks like it just got detailed. I don't know what this Newell's doing here in my neck of the woods, but let's find out. Hey, Andrew. Hey, what's going on, Brad? What are you doing out here, sir? Just hanging out in Arizona, enjoying this hot weather. I never see RV dealers out RVing. What exactly are you doing, sir? RVing. I mean, that's what, uh, you know, the root of what we do. Uh, how I became an RV dealer is I'm an RVer and mm -hmm. uh, so we're out for a little uh, early summer uh, trip. Uh, it was a busy first quarter. Uh, sold a lot of units and needed to get out on the road and enjoy and do what we do. Um, so uh, yeah, we uh, took a trip across the country here and here we are and heading north from here. So excited. Brad, every time I see an RV dealer like yourself having a coach out here at an RV resort, it's on display or they're having a rally. Is this coach on display? No, we're uh, we're just out RVing. Uh, you know, it's like Noah's Ark in there. My wife's inside, and we've got uh, three dogs, two are rescues. We uh, have Cavalier King Charles. So yeah, we're living our private life out here, and uh, you know, enjoying. We're riding motorcycles. Uh, we towed those out here and drove up into uh, the mountains of Arizona yesterday, and just uh, having a good time. So last week I saw this coach yeah. in Florida. You're here in Arizona hanging out. How's the trip been going so far? Oh, it's going great. Uh, you know, we like to get off the interstates. We took uh, all non-interstate roads here, two lanes and four lanes, and it's just a, it's a great way to see the country. We, uh, we met some incredible people along the way. We took, uh, I think it was eight days getting here. And, uh, you know, taking the two lanes across America is pretty cool. Um, we spent some time, we're foodies. Uh, we're traveling with uh, our best friends and their coach too. So we stopped in New Orleans for three nights and had some incredible cuisine there. Being foodies, we're very mindful of what the uh, hospitality industry has gone through uh, over the COVID last year. So we're big into stopping in little mom and pop joints and, uh, and uh, talking to them, hearing their stories and tasting their local food. And you know, we, uh, we tip them well and we've uh, made some people cry along the way saw some incredible emotions out of those people so our heart really goes out to the uh, hospitality industry you've been rving for quite some time now how did you get into rving and how did you develop such a passion for rving well uh, I've, I've been rving since i was a youngster uh, my father was a john deere dealer so we had a gmc palm beach they were the green uh, motorhome like it was on the movie stripes so being green and john deere it was pretty fitting uh, and then I got into my adulthood and started out working and then uh, I had a couple nationwide companies. Uh, we did hail uh, storm repair and then we did fuel reclaiming. Uh, and I got food poisoning on a business trip. It was shortly after we lived here, Andrew, we actually moved out to Arizona uh, right after we were newlyweds. And uh, I got food poisoning on a business trip and said, I'm never going out again to my wife and I'm going to sell the company and we decided to get an RV. And uh, of course, we went out RV shopping and I had a price in mind and, uh, you know, I was trying to tow that line and, and my wife uh, pointed out a uh, Travel Supreme back in the day and I said, I'll never drive off with that. We drove off with that coach and then we started traveling for business. I had uh, locations all over North America for my fuel company and uh, it was a great way to see our employees spend time with them visit our markets uh, with our customers and uh, so that's how we used our rv for for several years you mentioned a fuel company can you elaborate <laughs> a little bit more on that yeah i've always been a niche guy we saw somebody taking fuel out at sky harbor actually here at the international airport in phoenix we were doing some uh, paintless dent repair hailstorm repair and uh, asked him what he was doing explained the process to us and it was one of the employees for a company and I looked at the trailer and had the corporate number on there. I called them and we ended up buying uh, several markets throughout the U.S. And what we did is um, we, uh, you go and rent a car and you return it full of fuel. It's its last day in inventory. They uh, take that uh, vehicle and they turn it back to the auction. 
well, when you return your vehicle, everybody knows you have to either pay the fuel option or fill the uh, car with fuel. And uh, so they were all going back to the auction full of fuel. We started reclaiming the fuel out of all those cars and uh, moving that fuel for the rental car companies. Uh, we'd drain them down to an eighth of a tank, give them their own fuel back for a dollar a gallon. And uh, we did a lot of gallons. <laughs> nice. So you'd already been RVing. You're using the RV now for paintless dent repair, for your paintless dent removal business and your fuel business. How did you end up becoming an RV dealer and making that transformation? Well, you know, I, I don't like uh, losing money. Uh, don't like depreciation. So while we were doing this, we were uh, flipping coaches and um, uh, in and out of them so that we wouldn't lose money on them. And then when I sold those companies, my accountant said, hey, you're, you're doing pretty good at the flipping coaches. Why don't you open an RV dealership? That's simply how it started. You know, it was a passion project, something I enjoy. Uh, came a job for a few, you know, handful of years getting the right crew put together and right systems. And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty much back to a passion project now. I, I love going to work every day. Uh, I've got an incredible crew. You know, 11 year overnight success. <laughs> and, uh, so it's uh, it's a blast. Now you're out here in Arizona right now. How long are you going to be on this RVing adventure this summer? Well, we're, you know, I'm working every day. Um, you know, people ask me, you know, or tell me they don't want to bother me on vacation. I'm, I'm, I'm not in the office, but uh, I'm working every day. We're, uh, we're out here for about five weeks. Uh, on the road that is, we're gonna travel the western U.S., uh, make our way from Arizona through uh, Utah, Wyoming, uh, Idaho, and Montana. And then we're gonna round it out in uh, Colorado. And then when we leave Colorado, and, uh, not a ton to see, um, we head back to our Michigan home and spend the summers there. So we're kinda out here for a while. <laughs> nice, there's all kinds of folks out there. You're a seasoned RVer. Is there any advice that you would have for any maybe new RVers or folks that are thinking about RVing? Absolutely, you know, anybody that knows me, anybody that uh, RVs with me, anybody that's bought a coach from me, my staff knows I have one simple rule. Own the coach, don't let the coach own you. Um, you know, you and I were sitting here before we started filming and we were gonna put the uh, awnings out and one of my awnings is coming out, uh, it's binding, coming out crooked. Um, you know, you could get upset about that and let it tar start to take control of your emotions and you just can't do that with RVing. You know, uh, this is a beautiful coach, it's a 2012 Newell. You know, it's got problems, uh, doesn't mean it's a bad coach. Uh, you know, just don't let that stuff ruin your experience. You know, I left uh, the dealership, I mean, I'm in the industry, and uh, I left with the list on this coach that needed to be attended to before we even left. Uh, and that list has grown. <laughs> so uh, that'd be the biggest advice I give everybody. Own the coach, don't let the coach own you. I like that. Now, I've talked to all different people in the RV industry, uh, both consumers and people in the industry, and everybody out there agrees with me that you do business totally different. You're totally different than any other dealer out there. We've made some previous videos showing that. One of them was titled Ruffling Feathers or something, but- uh, <laughs> One of your favorites. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed making that video, <laughs> but- bait. Yeah, a that little bit. Fun. I may be a little guilty, <laughs> but uh, what what are you doing differently? You've been, you know, we've been making all these YouTube videos and the market's been responding. What What are you doing differently right now? Oh man, we're trying to figure it out. Uh, you know, COVID has affected so many businesses. I mean, everybody watching this is aware of that on all levels. Um, supply chain, uh, uh, you know, you name it. Uh, it's, it's just different. So what we're doing over the last, oh gosh, 60 days or so is really winding things down and figuring out how to do business in this uh, environment. Uh, we had a robust first quarter, uh, like everybody else. And, um, you know, we had some challenges. Uh, we weren't able to get parts, uh, you know, on a, on a large scale, we weren't, weren't able to get things on a timely fashion. So we, um, we're just trying to figure that out. Big thing we did was just slow down our sales. Uh, we had to let uh, our staff catch up on deliveries. I didn't feel it was fair to customers that we were selling coaches to um, and just overwhelming uh, our staff and not getting things ready and creating a log jam. It was just, it was tough. Uh, I don't like 
operating from a position of weakness. I like operating from a position of strength, meaning that uh, we can provide the best quality product and delivery to RVers in the industry. Um, so we're, we're right at the tail end of that. I've got 13 coaches. What uh, do you have? What's for sale right now? What's I available? That, I know you got two S6, two King Air. I knew that perked you up. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the big uh, thing I'm getting from your channel subscribers and viewers is where are your coaches? Why aren't they online? Um, again, that is because we're we're rehoning our system internally to provide the best possible experience there is. Um, I want to keep our channel going here with you, and so I've been showing sneak peeks to uh, you and your viewers uh, of coaches that we've got in the background. I don't have them listed on my website. I don't have them listed anywhere. I don't have pictures of them, uh, but I do have these coaches. But until we can get to a position where we can deliver those in a proper fashion, I'm holding those back. So your viewers have a you know a sneak peek of what's going on you know behind the scenes at the Motor Coach store. I've got a 2012 Essex you mentioned. I've got a 16 Essex. I got two 13 King Airs. I've got a 13 Newell Center Island bed. Uh, I've got uh, the Prevo Outlaw that you did an incredible video on. I've got. Uh, I've got an 06 Featherlight, 06 Marathon, 07 Marathon. I mean, I've got a lot of coaches. So I'm excited and uh, antsy, really, to uh, get these coaches online. But until we can uh, deliver them in a proper fashion, I'm just holding back. So videos versus photographs. How are people responding and what's your thoughts? Oh man, I mean, your channel has far reach, Andrew. Uh, we Again, we were talking before we started filming and you're at a, uh, a country club yesterday golfing and you know some waitress uh, recognized you uh, it's interesting the reaches you have because I'm getting the same things when we're out in a park or out in the country uh, you know people uh, people know you know what who you are and what you do uh, so I'm I'm floored we get a report every Monday morning from our web company and it shows the kind of traffic that we have uh, and all the clicks we have and whatnot. We monitor uh, this uh, every week. And when I started doing videos with you, I doubled, more than doubled my traffic uh, just off of doing videos with you. So it, it's, it's incredible. I think what you're doing is changing the market forever. Uh, we're gearing more towards video content and away from photos. Not to say we won't have photos. Um, you know, they're the uh, the foundation of what we do, of course. But people want more. They want to see these coaches. They want to be able to pause, slow down, rewind. Um, they want to hear what you have to say and your opinions on the coaches. You know, you carry heavy weight with uh, your viewers. And I'm curious what you guys think. If you guys prefer pictures or videos, please drop a comment below and let me know if you prefer videos or photos. But I agree with you, Brad. I think, you know, having thousands of different images throughout the coach with video just captures a lot more. Um, now going forward, uh, what you, as, as you're repositioning, what's your game plan going forward? Well, we're gonna do a, uh, a mild revamp on our website uh, to include more video content. Um, and, um, you know, just go forward with a, a great delivery experience and sale experience for a luxury coach in this uh, COVID environment that uh, we're all living in now. You guys do a lot of stuff differently. Number one, you're a real RVer out here RVing for not just an RV show to try to sell a coach, yeah. but you're you're living it. You have non-haggle pricing. When you guys do a delivery too, I think you guys have a different process than a lot of other dealers. What differentiates you? Well, what I tell customers is they can uh, have any level of uh, delivery that they want. Uh, if they want a key toss, we can throw them the keys. So that, you know, they're in the driver's seat. If they want to stay a week or more, they're welcome to stay and go through a coach and uh, and take delivery as long as they want to uh, touch every button, make sure everything works. And, uh, you know, uh, we have full hookups at the dealership. Uh, they can bring their trade if they have one. We go door to door. Uh, moving all their uh, their personal belongings from their old coach to their new coach, and uh, you know, like to think we have a, a good experience. What else we do that's unique is I don't have any salespeople. So when you email 
call or text the motor coach store you get me that's my direct line uh, I answer all those uh, those messages and um, not having any salespeople makes it a different experience you know love salespeople I think they're some of the greatest people on earth uh, you know I just decided to uh, keep that as something that I take care of at the dealership so what we do is when we have a coach come in we assign that to a technician so that technician has a relationship with that coach from the time it hits our curb uh, they know the coach inside and out they do the PDI on the pre-delivery inspection uh, repair all the items know the coach inside and out and then when somebody comes in to look at that particular coach they get that technician that shows them the coach people are very comfortable with this they don't feel like they're being sold anything they feel like they're being shown something so that's what we do at the dealership then once somebody uh, buys the coach that same technician then does another pre-delivery inspection before they uh, deliver the coach and then they do the walkthrough at uh, at delivery so it's, uh, it's I don't know of anybody else doing that uh, it's a unique formula that we started uh, from the inception of the dealership. Are there any changes that you're going to make moving forward, or what can what can we expect going forward? Well, you know, if you're not changing and evolving, you're going out of business. So yeah, we're always keeping a pulse on what we need to do internally as a dealership to create the best experience that we can for a, for a new owner. And uh, we've got some we got some things coming. I'm excited. You've definitely revolutionized the motor coach industry. I'm honored to be a part of it and be able to capture everything you're doing. Now, I've got one other question just about RVing for you. How do you find RV campgrounds when you're out traveling? Oh, you're, you've been an RVer for a long time. Any wisdom you have uh, for the folks out there? Oh yeah, you know, we when we set out, we had we still don't have any itinerary, and people told us we were nuts. We had zero problems getting an RV spot out there. Uh, not to say that there aren't specific parks, you know, you, the, that you go to during certain seasons that are absolutely booked, but uh, you know, by and large, you know, we're at Distant Drums RV Park here in um, Camp Verde, Arizona, and if you look around, you know, there's spots. You know, there's there's three, four of them that we're standing right here. So. Yeah. There's spots available out there. You know, people shouldn't be concerned about hitting the road, not having a reservation. Uh, we had just a, a real easy time getting in anywhere. Even the road parks, uh, we're traveling with two 45 foot newels uh, with tow vehicles and a trailer and had no problems whatsoever. So uh, get out there and enjoy RVing. Last time I went to Florida, I was getting ready to film this coach. I was really excited to show it to you guys. But what happened? Well, my best friend, uh, AJ, uh, decided that uh, they wanted to take this coach on the road versus uh, another coach that we had and uh, walked in that they fell in love. So uh, he bought this coach. You got to act quickly on these coaches. Brad prices these coaches to move. Brad, you don't like sitting on inventory. And Andrew, you're right. There's one thing that I lay awake about at night is having too much inventory. Um, so this is really hard for me to take a step back. Uh, and not be marketing these coaches, but yet business must go on. I'm still buying coaches. We're still doing videos with you, sort of giving a sneak peek on these coaches. Um, so it's real hard for me to hold back, but we've got to do this in order to figure out how to operate in this market. I've got 13 coaches. You know, I've got a list here. You've got some good looking inventory on that inventory sheet right there. What all do you got going on right now? Let's start with my coach. Uh, I have a new coach coming. Uh, it'll be ready uh, in a year. <laughs> it's going to take a little time to get ready. You know, I've got this one on the market. It's the only one on my website. Uh, I got to tell you, Andrew, you know, anybody can say, oh, it's partial, it's yours, you're trying to sell it. You know, I've got time. Uh, you know, my coach isn't going to be ready for a year. But I tell you, I'll, I'll find something else to drive uh, in order to put somebody in this coach. It's, uh, it's the most fantastic coach I've ever owned. You know, the condition of it, the quality, uh, the miles, the price. I mean, everything's right on this coach. I just drove it 2,200 miles uh, on some rough roads getting over here. And uh, thing just performed beautifully. So again, there's a list on it. There's always a list on a coach. Uh, but man, it's just, it's it's an eyeball coach. It's, uh, it's really cool. Yeah, so what else do you got in your inventory right now? I've got, uh, I'm just gonna, run through these and you know your viewers can pause and uh, play and rewind I'm gonna go through this list line by line and just uh, tell you what I have 
Uh, if your viewers find something that they're interested in, they can just give me a call or text or email. Uh, I've got 2012 Newell that we just talked about here, uh, 52,000 miles on it now, uh, $777,000. $777. I've got an 07 Marathon H345 that is mind-blowing that you haven't done a video on yet. Uh, it's 76,000 miles. The price is $544,444. Marathon H3 double slide. Just absolutely a stunning coach. Uh, a very impressive build sheet on that coach. I've got 2013. It's a new Mark King Air, uh, floor plan 4587 with 20,000 miles on it, $365,555. Uh, here's a nice little coach that we took on trade and we're gonna uh, put this out for retail. You did a uh, video on this as well as the uh, 13 King Air we just talked about. 2015 Fleetwood Bounder 36E with 17,000 miles on it for $99,999. You did a video on that. We've gotten a ton of interest on it. We haven't uh, sold the coach yet, but man, somebody should jump on that. Got another 2013 Newmark King Air 4584 with 33,000 miles on it for $355,555. You did a video on that coach as well. We've had some interest. Uh, man, just there's, there's no King Airs out there in that uh, vintage at that price point. So somebody should jump on those uh, before they go. Another fantastic coach. You did a video on this. You. Uh, you asked me to video this coach without it being detailed. The thing wasn't even touched and you did a, a video on it. We have gotten a lot of interest on this coach. Uh, 2016 Newmar Essex 4553 with 24,000 miles on it. Price $377,777. I mean, that coach should be gone. I've got an 06 Marathon H345 double slide that you did a video on with 125,000 miles. Uh, for $455,555. Great looking coach, black, you know, uh, if you like a dark uh, exterior, that's a killer coach. 2012 Newmar Essex 4544, I believe you just put that video out recently because I did get a lot of phone calls here. 65,000 miles on that unit, price is 265,555. Uh, I've been online, I research just like uh, your viewers do and see where uh, we're priced. I mean, there we're $35,000 below the nearest uh, uh, comparable coach out there. So, and I've got to tell you guys a quick story about that coach. Um, like Brad was mentioning, you know, Brad follows the market, I follow the market, and there's some other YouTube channels. There's not very many other YouTube channels posting videos of similar coaches, but we posted that Numar Essex for 265, 555. There was another well-known YouTube channel posted a new Mario Essex, same exact year, same exact model, within four days of the video I posted, they were priced at $315,000. So Brad was 50 grand cheaper than another YouTube channel that posted an identical coach. We did a video here a couple weeks ago, you and I did, and uh, explained to your viewers that uh, we put a couple of coaches out there, we sent them to auction, there was some feedback, oh, there were fees out of that pricing, yes. But even after the fees, uh, we still sold those coaches for thousands of dollars more than uh, what we were offering on the channel. So uh, people should take note and uh, buy one of these. Uh, the 2011 Prevo Outlaw H345 double slide with 40,000 miles on it, completely remodeled. You did a fantastic video on it, uh, I mean, the guy spent over $200,000 on updates, upgrades, remodeling. I mean, a, a, a new coach alone can you can buy for $200,000. He just dropped that into the interior and exterior of his coach. So very, very, very nice coach at a great buy. $699,999. You can't find a Prevo, a 2011 Prevo H conversion with 40,000 miles on it uh, for that kind of money. It's the cheapest on the planet. Uh, these are some coaches that just are, are just coming in um, at a 2006 Prevo Featherlight H345 with 117,000 miles on it. Uh, you've got uh, videos on almost every one of these coaches uh, except for the 07 Marathon. I believe uh, that and the Featherlight and 13 Newell. You've got videos on all these so people can go and see the videos. I don't have pictures. 
that's that's what I have for them to look at these coaches decide if that's what they want to buy. Oh, if they want, if they are serious, can they schedule an appointment to go see these coaches in person at your dealership? Oh, absolutely. Uh, don't take that I'm not there, that we're not open. I've got a full incredible staff there. Uh, they're available to show coaches Monday through Friday, uh, weekends we can make happen. Uh, I'd like to give them their time off. So if someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? Give me a call. You can uh, call me, text me, email me. You'll find all my information on our website, themotorcoachstore.com. Brad, I'm happy to see that you're finally taking some time, <laughs> even though you're still working. Great to see you're out here really living, breathing the RV lifestyle, Absolutely. something not any RV dealers that I know of. I've never heard of an RV dealer taking a five week trip in a motor home and really keeping your ear to the ground. I have a lot of respect for you. Thank you. Greatly appreciate you and the team at the Motor Coach Store. I also appreciate all of you that are liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. See you soon.